So today, let's start with the first participant, C.A. Pratik Sadrani. Yes, I would like to share my screen. Yeah. So my screen is visible? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. So good afternoon, everyone. I am CA Pratik Sadrani from Nagpur, a practicing chartered accountant practicing in the field of litigation since last 12 years. I would like to thank AI committee of ICI for giving me this opportunity to present this use case in AI hackathon. This use case is not only important for practicing CAs, but also important for everyone who wants to unleash the power of AI. Today, I am demonstrating how AI agents can be useful for creating practice management CA bot. I am using Dante AI platform to create this bot. Now I will show how we can create this bot. So I have logged in my Dante AI platform. This bot can be created in four simple steps. First, we need to name our bot. Say I am giving the name practice management a bot now in the second step we need to give the memory to our bot this memory is the brain of our ai chatbot on the basis of which this uh, chatbot is going to give the answer this knowledge base can be in any form like we can uh, have uh, word file we can have urls youtube or any other file you can use for giving the knowledge base in the third step we need to set the personality of our chatbot, how it's going to answer. I am setting it as a formal and static so that answer will be given purely on the basis of the knowledge base, which I have uploaded. In the fourth step, we need to review the bot and then I am pressing this finish button. Now, this chatbot will be getting created in two to three minutes. Now, I would like to uh, move for the second thing in my presentation use cases. CAs are not able to work on expanding their domain and business. Rather, they are lost in daily activities and spend a lot of time in staff training. Lack of SOPs and audit procedures leads to inconsistent work quality. Staff leaves the job and remains uptime during hectic days creates a lot of stress and mental pressure. In order to address these problems, the bot is integrated with the SOPs which are drafted by CA partners for audit, assessment, and other practice work. See, our bot is created. What we can do? We can create SOP for all types of practice works. We can integrate that SOP in the backend knowledge of our bot, and we can use it. Let's say my staff wants to do the tax audit in the client list. He is new in the office. I am not there in the client list, but he will be able to do this with the help of this practice management CA bot. Say uh, he gives the data scrutiny for tax audit. The practice bot will give the answer purely on the basis of the SOPs, which we have set. We have set on the basis of our, uh, all the partners. In this way, we can reduce staff training time and improve quality of our audit work. Second use case. There are chances of hallucinated responses results in inaccurate advice to our client. So the answer is the bot can be powered exclusively by firm curated knowledge because it gives answers from this knowledge base. It eliminates the chances of hallucinated responses and gives the desired answer. Let's say I want to file an appeal before CIT appeal and I want to uh, do the research. So I am uh, giving this prompt case loss for section 234E. My, uh, my bot will give the answer purely on the basis of database. What we can do? We can integrate all our case law digest, all our research work in the knowledge base, and the bot will give the answer on the, on the basis of only that knowledge base. There will not be any hallucinated answer. This will give the, me the correct answers, as well as we will be able to increase, improve the audit quality. So this can be the second use case. Third, in our CA field, what we find that there are many amendments, there are many notifications, there are many circulars. 
all this can be taken care of with the help of our ca bot further there are data confidentiality issues as well data security issues as well so since the knowledge base is fully in our hands we can update our chatbot purely on the basis of the knowledge base and on a real time basis we can integrate that knowledge base from our chatbot let's say we can uh, uh, my staff wants to uh, draft reply for gst show cause notice so the bot is already integrated with the proper answer latest answer i am saying about latest answer this uh, if we use the open ai platform there are chances that we get the answers uh, three months uh, on the basis of three months back notification but what we can do we can update our ch uh, chatbot on real time basis this will eliminate the risk of hallucinated answers we will get the real time basis answers and on the basis of which we can do the proper replies this can also be used for giving all types of departmental replies we can use it for all types of drafting issues we can uh, use it for creating different types of agreements as well in this way our practice bot will be useful fourth use case this is also very important use case we receive high volume of routine queries from our clients and their teams which consumes lot of our valuable time and it reduces the firm's focus on high value advisory work so the idea is what we can do we can create personalized chatbot for each of our client whose knowledge base can be in our hands we can use this uh, we can give them limited access of the chatbot it will resolve common doubts queries and repetitive calls from clients and their team and we will get good time for high value advisory work let's say my clients wants to uh, 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 answer related to this query tds on partners remuneration this is effective from just april 2025 and he wants this answer say from home uh, at 9 pm so if we are even if we are not there our bot is there Uh, this will give the answer since the answer is already feeded by my team by me so it is equivalent that i am giving the answer in this way client can get the real time consultancy services and we can add value added services for our client as well fifth use case we spend lot of time in practice for office administrative works like uh, making proposals Uh, uh, making tenders billings recoveries etc all this can be done by our ca bot the bot can be integrated with templates checklist billings payables receivable etc on real time basis what we can do we can integrate our books of accounts on a real time basis with our knowledge base and then it can be used say my client uh, my staff wants to create one bill and he is giving this prompt professional fees to be charged from client mr a my staff will immediately get the answer since my data is uh, already feeded and it's on real time basis integrated the answer will be proper in this way we can use the practice management bot for admin related works as well now i would like to summarize my presentation this practice management ca bot is a game changer for chartered accountancy firms because dik ji last 2 minutes because it reduces staff training time it improves firm's efficiency and accuracy there can be a standardized sops which improves the audit quality we can do continuous legal updation to our chatbot we can do deep research data security and confidentiality issue can also be taken care of we get the accurate answers and no hallucinated response will be given personalized chatbots for clients help them to provide value added services we get more time for expanding domain and our business we can set integrations knowledge base personality co setting of our chatbot in this way we can use our practice management chatbot for managing our practice to conclude my presentation i would like to say that can ai replace humans the answer is no as humans have created it can we integrate ai in our ca practice the answer must be yes with this i conclude my presentation thank you very much pratik ji you have an amazing presentation i think uh, you gave wonderful use cases thank you thank uh, you i so think much. this
yeah systems and automation have become key for any business any profession and the way you presented various chatbots it would definitely help uh, very, all the ca firms to scale their practice to save costs for them and to focus more on their strategic growth and it was a very very good presentation thank you pratikji thank you thank you so much sir